Hi, I am Jen Raymond B. Aguila, your mathematics teacher. At ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ay itong ko sa ating next lesson, which is Relationships of Angles Formed by a Transversal. So, tayo ay nasa week 3 na. Ano nga ba yung mga objectives natin for today? So, after this session, you will be able to okay, identify the angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal and determine the relationship between pairs of angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal using measurement and by inductive reasoning. So, yung mga word na may underline, siguro ito ay hindi pa familiar sa inyo. So, yung parallel lines at transversal at saka pairs of angles, yun yung pag-uusapan natin for today. So, for the introduction, pag-usapan muna natin yung symbol na hashtag or in short, hash. So, ito siya. Hashtag. Saan ba natin ginagamit ang hashtag na symbol? So, kanimitan ginagamit natin ito sa online. Ginagamit natin ito sa mga social media applications, sa Facebook, sa Twitter, sa Instagram, at sa iba pa. So, um, online users is uh, using this in creating hashtags for events and issues. In this way, they can easily search for their, tra for their topic or theme. Now, let us answer the following questions. So, question number one, what geometric figures are used to represent the hash symbol? Anong geometric figure ang dia ginagamit sa pagre-represent ng hash symbol. So, maaaring yung iba sasabihin ay lines, maaaring yung iba sasabihin ay angles, which are correct. Are there angles formed? How many are there? So, meron ba tayong na-form na angle dito sa ating hashtag? So, meron, di ba? Katulad nito, this is an angle. Now, ilan silang lahat? So, pag binilang natin lahat, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, meron tayong 16 na angle na na-form. Pero, meron tayong apat na lines. 1, 2, 3, 4 na nag-intersect sa isa't isa. Now, can you see any similarities between or among the angles? Meron ba kayong nakitang pagkakapareho dun sa mga angles? Okay. Now, our lesson 1 is about angles formed by a transversal. Ano nga ba yung sinasabi na transversal? So, yung transverse, transversal ay isang line. Okay? So, ang transversal ay isang line, parang ganito we're in ini intersect niya yung dalawang parallel line parang nagbubuo tayo ng hashtag okay so for the meaning a transversal is a line intersecting two or more coplanar lines at dif different points okay so katulad ng sinabi ko kanina ang transversal ay isang line na nag-intersect sa two or more coplanar line so Pagka meron dalawang coplanar lines, katulad nito, for example, this is line A, and this is line B, tapos ito ay transversal, T. So, in-intersect niya yung dalawang coplanar lines at different points. Okay? Ito yung line A, line B, na mag-coplanar lines, tapos in-intersect siya ng transversal line. Now, Transversal line. So, dito meron tayong example ng transversal line. Dito meron tayong line R at meron tayong line S. So, sila yung dalawang coplanar lines na intersect ng transversal line T. Ngayon, nakabuo tayo ng walong angles. Angle 1 ito, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, 
angle 7 and angle 8. Now, sabi dito, lines R and S are cut by a transversal T. So, yung line R at S ay hinati or cut by a transversal T. Now, yung mga angle on shaded regions are 2, 3, 5, and 8. So, yung may shade na region, ito, ito ay mga shade, okay? Siya ay angle 2, 3, 5, at 8. Ang tawag sa kanila ay interior angles. From the word in, interior, nasa loob. So, yung mga interior angles natin ay angle 2, 3, 5, at 8 kasi sila ay nasa loob. Now, at yun namang mga hindi shaded na region, which are 1, angle 4, angle 6, at angle 7, ay mga exterior angles. So, yung mga angle 1, angle 4, angle 6, at angle 7, sila naman ay mga exterior angles. Ibig sabihin, nasa labas sila. Na pag-usapan naman natin ang pairs of angles, mga pares ng angles. So, marami tayong different pairs of angles na pag-usapan. Base doon sa na-form na angles from the transversal line. So, ito pa rin yung ating example natin kanina. May dalawa tayong line, line R at line S, and then cut by the transversal T. Okay. First pair of angle is corresponding angles. Ano ba yung mga corresponding angles? So, dito sa ating example, okay? Angle 1 and angle 5 ay corresponding angles. Okay? Angle 1 and angle 5. Okay? Next. Angle 2 and angle 6. Angle 2 and angle 6. Next. Angle 3 and angle 7. Angle 3 and angle 7. And angle 4 and angle 8. Angle 4 and angle 8. Yan. Sila yung mga pares na tinatawag na corresponding angles. So, sabi niya ay these are the four pairs of corresponding angles. So, pag corresponding angles, kung makikita ninyo, sila ay isang outer or exterior angle at isang in, in interior angles. Isang interior angle, isang interior exterior exterior angle, isang exterior angle, isang interior angle, isang interior angle, at isang exterior angle. Okay? Next. Alternate interior angles. Alternate, pag sinabi natin alternate, okay, um, magkakahalili na interior angle. So, ito ulit yung example natin. One pair of alternate interior angle is or are 2 and 8. Angle 2 and angle 8. Okay? Angle 2 and angle 8. Kung mapapansin nyo, pareho silang interior at magka-alternate sila. Yung isa nandito, yung isa nandito. Okay? So, what do you think is the next pair of alternate interior angle? Okay, yung sunod ay angle 3 and angle 5. So, dito, ito yung angle 3, ito yung angle 5. So, sila ay alternate interior na nasa loob angles. So, yun lang. Meron lang tayong dalawang pair of alternate interior angles. At ito na yung dalawang yun. Yung angle 2 and angle 8 and angle 3 and angle 5. Okay? Alternate exterior angles. 
So, ang alternate exterior angle naman ay katulad din ng alternate interior angles, pero exterior naman siya, yung nasa labas. So, dito, ang ating alternate exterior angles ay angle 1 and angle 7. So, angle 1 and angle 7, kung mapansin ninyo, sila ay nasa labas pareho. Okay? Pero alternate. At yung isa naman ay angle 4 and angle 6. So, dito, ito yung 4 at ito yung 6. So, meron lang tayong dalawang pares ng alternate exterior angles. Next, angle pairs is same side interior angles. Pag sinabi natin same side, nasa iisang side lang sila. At sila ay interior angle. So, yung una ay angle 2 and angle 5. So, angle 2 and angle 5. Kung mapapansin ninyo, silang dalawa ay interior angle at nasa iisang side lang sila. Next is angle 3 and angle 8. So, yung angle 3 ay ito at yung angle 8 ay ito. So, kung mapapansin nyo ulit, same side sila, nasa isang side, at sila ay parehong interior angles. Okay? Next, is same side exterior angles naman. So, katulad kanina, same side sila, pero exterior angle naman. So, yung una ay angle 1 and angle 6. Angle 1 and angle 6. At yung next naman is angle 4 and angle 7. Okay? So, sila ay same side at exterior angle. Now, dito sa lesson 2 ay relationships among angles form. So, yung relationship naman ng mga angle na na-form from the transversal line. So, kung maaalala ninyo sa ating lesson last, last um, grading or last weeks, ay uh, ginagamit natin itong protractor sa pag-measure ng angles. Okay? So, for example, meron tayo dito two coplanar lines, line H and line K, cut by transversal T. Nakaform tayo ng 8 na angles. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, angle 7, and angle 8. Now, pag ginamit natin itong um, protractor, ayan, makukuha na natin ang measurement ng mga angles. So, dito, nakuha natin na itong angle 1, okay? Ang measurement niya ay 50 degrees. So, from here, ito yung angle 1, okay? From here, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, okay? So, ito yung angle 1. Pag tinawin ko dito, ayan, ito yung angle 1. Ito yung kanyang measurement. So, siya ay 50 degrees, okay? 50 degrees. Now, yung angle 4 naman, okay? Erase muna natin to. Ang angle 4 naman ay ito. Ayan, angle 4. Pag tinignan natin yung measurement niya, okay? From here sa 0, okay? 0 papunta doon, that is 130. Kaya ang measurement ng angle 4 is 130 degrees. Now, kung papansin ninyo, ang pag pinagsama natin yung angle 1 at angle 4, makakabuo tayo ng straight angle. Hindi ba ang straight angle ay 130 180 degrees? So, pag pinag plus natin ito, 50 plus 30, 130, that is 180 degrees. Pag pinagsama natin yun. Okay? Now, meron pa tayong relationships na makikita dito sa measurement ng mga angles. Now, let us complete the table. Ito pa rin yung example natin kanina. At, base dun sa ating pagkaka-measure kanina, ang measurement ng angle 1 ay 50 at measurement ng angle 4 is 130. So, posible kaya na makuha rin natin ang measurement ng ibang angles? Posible. So, dito, 
makukuha natin na ang measurement ng angle 3 ay 50. Bakit? Kasi kung itong 4 ay 130 at sinama natin yung angle 3, itong angle 3, doon sa 4, makabuo tayo ng straight angle. Okay? At ang straight angle ay 180 degrees. Therefore, para malaman natin kung ano ba yung measurement ng angle 3, isip tayo ng number na pagpinlas sa 130, 180, which is 50. Okay? Now, dito naman sa angle 2, makukuha rin natin yung measurement niya, which is 130 din. Kasi, yung angle 1 natin ay 50 plus 130, that is 180. Okay? So, dito kaya sa number 5. So, kung makikita natin, ang measurement ng angle 5 ay 50 din. Ang measurement ng angle 8 ay 130, katulad din ng 4. Measurement ng angle 6 ay 130, at ng 7 ay 50. Okay, so, base dito sa measurement na nakuha natin kanina, dito sa ating examples, ay meron tayo ditong um, nakuhang conclusion. So, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then, corresponding angles are congruent. So, ano ba pag sinabi natin congruent? Pag sinabi natin congruent, yun ay pareho ng measurement. Okay? Pag sinabi natin corresponding angles, ito yon. Corresponding angles ay 1 and 5. So, di ba kung papansin nyo, yung 1 and 5 ay pareho ng measurement. Yung 1 at 5, pareho silang 50. Ganon din yung 4 at 8. 4 at 8. Diba? Parehong 130. Yan din ang 2 at 6. 2 at 6. Ganon din ang 3 at 7. 3 at 7. So, kapag ka-corresponding angle, sila ay mga congruent angles. So, pare-pareho ng measurement pag corresponding angles. Next. Alternate interior angles are congruent. So, yung alternate interior angle ay congruent. So, dito, yung angle 2 at 8, angle 2 at 8, ay pareho sila ng measurement. Parehong 130. 130. Okay? Ganon din yung Angle 3 at 5, alternate interior angle sila. So, 50 at 50. Pareho din sila. Okay? Next, alternate exterior angles are congruent. So, yung alternate exterior angle, itong 1 at 7, congruent sila, parehong measurement. Yung 4 at 6, congruent din sila, pareho din sila ng measurement. At yung sunod naman, same side interior angles are supplementary. Same side interior angle, yung 2 at 5, 3 at 8. Ano ba pag sinabing supplementary? Pag sinabi natin supplementary, pag pinag plus yung measurement ng dalawang angle, sila ay 180 degrees. Okay? 180 degrees. So, yung 2 at 5 ay same side interior angles. Pag pinag plus, yung sa 2 at sa 5, 130 plus 50, 180 degrees. Ganon din yung 3 at 8. Yung sa 3, which is 50 plus 130, that is 180 degrees. At last, ay same side exterior angles are also supplementary. So, yung same side exterior angle, yung 1 at 6, pag pinag plus, 1 at 6, 50 plus 130, 180 Ganon din yung 4 at 7. 4 at 7, 130 plus 50, 180 degrees. Okay? So, yun. So, kung uh, ma-observe natin, ay kaya pala natin nakuha yung 
uh, mga pair na ito dahil meron silang relationships. Una, itong tatlong ito, corresponding alternate interior at alternate exterior, sila ay mga congruent o magkapareho ng measurement. Samantalang yung same side, interior at exterior, sila ay supplementary or pag pinag plus yung measurement nila, 180 degrees. Now, yun na. Matapos na ating discussion. Dito na tayo sa inyong learning task. So, sa learning task 1, you are going to identify the pairs of angles being described given lines M and N are cut by transversal line T. So, pag dinarawin natin, yung ating transversal line T, ayan, I cannot by M at N. Okay? Ayan. So, find other two pairs of corresponding angles. So, yung una, angle A and angle E, meron tayo ditong, um, meron naman tayong illustration dun sa, um, yung illustration na ginamit natin dito kanina, dun sa kaninang um, example, yun din yun. Okay? Pero, angle A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay? So, ilalagay nyo din yung angles. Next. For learning task 2, given the lines B and W are, para are parallel lines, B and W are parallel lines, and line T is a transversal, complete the statement, statements below. Angle A and angle M are called blank. Ano sila? And, sasabihin nyo, Isis, bibilugan nyo kung sila ay congruent or supplementary. Okay? And for learning task 3, two parallel lines are cut by a transversal. Complete the statements below. So, you are just going to complete the statement below. Kung sila ay um, congruent or supplementary. And for learning task 4, you are going to write the letter of the correct answer before each number, gamit itong, given itong ating illustrations. And for your reflection, you are going to complete the following. And that's it for this week. Thank you for watching and good luck.